Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn some math. About three, four days ago, today is uh, day number five. About four days ago, we started, we began a process uh, of uh, doing some math work together. And we learned over the last four days the times table of 2, 3, 4 and 5. Today we will have a quiz. Today we will have a quiz on these four timetables, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I'm going to put the problems on the blackboard. Again, I want you to take out your notebook, put down today's date on it, put down day number 5 and write down the problem as I put, on the, put them on the blackboard and write down the answers as I go along. And we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. Five eights are, four sevens are, two ones are, two fives are, three ones are, three six are, two nines are, three threes are, four six are, and five ones are. The idea is that the idea is that as long as you can come up with the answer to these problems very quickly, like that, that that would show that would indicate that you have memorized the timetables that I ask you to memorize. Tables of two, three, four, and five. So here we go. Five eights are. Five eights are. Do you know what five eights are? Five eights are. Forty. Four sevens are. Four sevens are. Twenty-eight. How about two ones? Two ones is very easy. Two ones are two. How about two fives? If you have two fives, two fives are ten. The next one is also very simple. Three ones are three. Nothing to it. How about three six? Three six are. Three six are. If you have six and a six and a six, six plus six is twelve. And if you have one more six, that's a third six. Three six are eighteen. How about two nines? We know two tens are twenty, aren't they? Two tens are twenty, so two nines would have to be two less than twenty, which is eighteen. Again, how about three threes? Well, three plus three is six, and six plus three is nine. Three nines are, uh, three threes are nine. How about four sixes? Four six are, four six are. Well, we know four fives are twenty. We know, we know four fives are twenty. And therefore, other four ones, we put down four, four fives and four ones that give us four sixes. Four sixes are 24. And finally, five ones are five. Let's do ten more. Let's do ten more. Four ones, three eights. Three eights are, two threes are, three sevens are, four fives are, two eights are, three tens are, five sevens are, two fives are, and four tens are. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit faster this time. Four ones are, of course, four. How about three eights? If you have three eight, three eights are, three eights are, I'm looking here, three eights are, three eights are going to be twenty-four. Three eights are twenty-four. How about if you have, if you have two threes? Two threes are, or two threes are three plus three, which is six. And what if we have three sevens? Three sevens, three sevens are same as three fives and three twos. Three fives are fifteen and three twos are six. 6 plus 15 is 21. 4 fives are 20. How about 2 eights? 2 eights are going to be 16. 2 eights are going to be 16. Because 2 eights, I'm going to, I'm going to erase this part so that I can talk about what I'm talking about here. This is what we're talking about, 2 eights. 2 eights has to be same as, has to be same as 2 tens minus a two twos. If you have two tens and if we take away two twos, what you're left with is two eights. And we know two tens are twenty and two twos are four. So if we say take away four, we're left with sixteen. 
two eighths are sixteen, right there. How about three tenths? Three tenths is very easy. Three tenths are thirty. Three fives, or rather, five sevens. Five sevens is also very easy, actually. We know, we know ten sevens. We know ten sevens are seventy, aren't they? Ten sevens are seventy. So instead of ten, if you were to take half as much, divide top and bottom by two, divide top and bottom by two, and ten will become five. Ten will become five. And now five sevens, five seven is half of that, half of half of seventy. What is half of seventy? Do you know how to divide seventy by two? It's very easy. How do we divide seventy by two? It's very easy. How many twos does seven have? How many twos does seven have? The seven has three twos. Seven has three twos. Two, four, six. Is there are there are three twos in a seven? Six. There are three twos in a seven. Three twos are six. But this was seven. This wasn't a six. This was a seven. The remaining one goes and joins a zero. It, it, the remaining one goes and joins a zero, and it becomes a ten. And ten divided by two is thirty-five. Ten divided by two is thirty-five. So seven fives are thirty-five. What about two fives? Two fives are ten. What about four ten? Four tens are forty. Four tens are forty. Just give me one brief second. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. I just need one quick brief second. Let's do a few more, shall we? Let's do a few more. Let's do ten more. Let's do ten more. We're done with these. We're gonna do ten more. Five nines, five sixes, five fours, two tens. Three sevens, four twos, two twos, two sixes, three twos, and finally four nines. Let's see what we can do. Five nines. Five nines are well. We know five tens. Let's erase this part so we can have the room. Five nines is what we're trying to figure out. We know we know five tens. We know five tens are fifty. That's easy. We don't have we don't have ten fives. Look, look don't look at it as five tens. Look at it as ten fives. We don't have ten fives. We need nine fives. So we take we need to take away one five here. We need to take away one five. If we take away one five, what we end up is ten minus one. We're going to end up with nine fives. And one five is just five. So if you have fifty. And if we take away five, we're left with forty-five. Nine fives are forty-five, because ten fives, ten fives are fifty. Ten fives are fifty. If we take away one five from it, what we're left with is nine fives. Nine fives are forty-five. Nine fives are forty-five, which is same as five nines. Nine times five is same as five times nine, of course, because two times three is same as three times two, of course. In multiplication, the order doesn't matter. So nine fives are forty-five, or five nines are forty-five. Nine fives are forty-five because ten fives are fifty. If we take away one five from it, you're left with forty-five. How about five sixes? Well, five sixes is again very straightforward. Five sixes is very straightforward because we know we know ten sixes are sixty. That we do know. We don't need ten sixes. We need five sixes. So if you divide this quantity by two, if we take half of that, and we take half of that. Divide top and bottom by two, and the ten becomes five. So now we have five sixes, which is half of sixty. How many threes? How many threes does six have? Six has three. But how many twos are there? How many twos does six have? Six has three twos. Six has three twos. And how many three? How many? How many twos does zero have? Zero has no twos. So of course, sixty divided by two is thirty. Sixty divided by two is thirty. Let's do one more. How about five fours? Five fours, five fours, five four is same as four fives. Five four is same as four five. We know two fives. We know two fives are ten. If we take another two fives, that's another ten. So four fives are going to be twenty. Four fives are same as two fives and another two fives. Two fives are ten. Another two fives, another ten is twenty. Two tens is very easy. Two tens are twenty. How about three sevens? 
three sevens. Again, the same exact thing. We can take our sevens. We can take our seven and break it up to two parts. Five and a two. Five and a two. And we want how many of them? We want three of them. Three sevens. If we want three of them, we need three of these and we need three of these. Three sevens, which is seven, seven threes. Three sevens, which is seven, seven threes. It's going to be three fives, which we know is fifteen, and three twos, which we know is six. So it's going to be twenty-one. How about four twos? Four twos is same as same as two fours, which is eight. Which is same as two fours, which is eight. Two twos are four. That's very simple. How about two sixes? Two sixes. It's the same exact logic as before, two sixes, two sixes, six we know can be written as five plus one. And how many do we have? We have two of them. So in your mind, you have to break it up into five and a one, and then ask yourself how many we have. We have two of them. We have two of them. So two fives are ten, plus two ones, which is two, ten plus two is twelve. Three twos. 2 is the same as 2 3's, which is just 6. How about 4 9's? Now, 4 9's is a tricky one. 4 9's is a tricky one. Let's do it here. 4 9's is, can be written as, it can be written as, let's, let's, let's first talk about 9 by itself. Let's first talk about 9 by itself. If you want 9, 9 can be written as 10 minus 1. Don't you agree? Of course, 9 can be written as 10 minus 1. Now the question is, how many nines do we have? We have four nines. We have to figure out how many four nines are. So we need four nines. Four nines, so multiply everything by four. And there we go. Four nines are going to be four tens, which is 40, minus, minus, four ones, which is four. 40 minus four is 36. So these are the kind of tricks you have to do in your mind if you do not know the answer right away, if you have trouble memorizing something. If you if you if you stumble on something and if you if you struggle with something, you don't have to let the listener know. You don't have the person that you don't have to let the know let know. You don't have to let know. You don't have to let the person you're talking to know that you don't know the answer. You can just pretend that uh, that you do by doing this thing in your head. If nine fours very quickly you say to yourself, well nine fours would have to be same as ten fours, which I know is forty. Take away one four. That's thirty-six. That's all. And you can do that in a matter of seconds after a little bit of practice. Let's continue. Should we do ten more? Let's do ten more. Let's do ten more. We need to we need to raise all of this thing. Every so often I will give you the quiz on the tables until until we come out, until I until we feel that we, we are we are doing all right. Four threes, two sevens. Three fives, two fours, three nines, four fours, four eights, five threes, five fives, and five tens. Let's see what the answers are to these. Shall we? Let's do it here. Oh, four threes is very easy. Four threes. Four threes, four threes, the same as three fours. We just add up four three times. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus four is twelve. How about two sevens? Same exact trick in your mind. You have to play the same exact trick. Break up the seven into into two parts, into five plus two, and then ask yourself how many do we have? We have two of them, so we need two of them. There we go. So that's going to be same as ten. Plus four. Ten plus four is fourteen. How about three fives? Well, counting by five is very easy, isn't it? Just it's like adding up nickels. One nickel plus another nickel is ten, uh, ten cents, and if you have one more nickel, three nickels are fifteen cents. Three fives are fifteen. How about two fours? Two fours are eight. How about three nines? Well, let's deal with three nines. Three nines sometimes gives people trouble. Three nines. Well, think of nine as Think of nine as ten. Think of nine as. Think of nine as ten minus one, just like we did before. Nine equals ten minus one. Nobody's going to argue with that. Now ask yourself, how many do we have? We have three of them. So in your mind, 
you take three tens, which is 30, and you take, take away one threes. You take ten threes, take ten threes, and take away one three. If you have ten three minus one three, that's going to give you nine threes. Thirty minus three is twenty-seven. How about four fours? Well, four fours are easy. Whenever you have to multiply, whenever you have to multiply something by four, the trick is very easy. Listen carefully. If somebody asks you to multiply something by four, you take that number and you double it. So we take the four, we take the four, and we double it. We get eight. Once we get the eight, double it one more time. We get sixteen. So again, one more time to multiply something by four, take the number, double it, whatever result you get, double it again, and that's times four. If you double the four, you get eight, and you double the eight, you get sixteen. How about four eight? Well, this is interesting. Four eight. Four eight. Four eight. How about we write 8 as 10 minus 2? And we need 4 of them. We need 4 of them. This is 40, so it's going to be 40 minus 8. 40 minus 8 is 32. 40 minus 8 is 32. On the way, on the way we could have figured out the 8 is, we could, written, we could have written 8 as 5 plus 3. And we have 4 of them. We have 4 of them. 4 5s are 20 we know and 3 4s are 12. 12 plus 20 is 32. 12 plus 20 or 32 is same as 40 minus 8. 40 minus 8, in other words, in other words, we can look at 8 4s. Listen carefully. In other words, the question that is being asked is 4 8. So 4 8 is same as 8 4. We can look at 8 4 as 10 4s minus two fours. Ten fours minus two fours is going to give us eight fours or we can look at eight as four fives and four threes. Four threes and four fives is going to give us four eights because three plus five is eight. Let's continue. Three fives are fifteen. How about five fives? Five five. If three fives are fifteen, five fives is going to be ten more which is going to be twenty five. And the last one is very easy. Last one is very easy because it's 5 times 10, 5, five, ten, five tens is the same as 10 fives. If you have 10 fives, that's 50. That's all. Tomorrow we'll do the times table of 6 and 7, or at least the 6. Well, let's do one at a time, okay? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.